and they're off. Racing for the British European Breeders' Fund 40th anniversary Upaven Philly Stakes. They're wide across the course in the early strides. Casavina up the inside with Carnarvon and Liftoff. A Mainer trying to negotiate from wide out in the yellow colours. And Zenga, another who's going forward. It's Liftoff who's made the running rail. Queen of the Skies pressing on. Likewise, Zenga. A Mainer's gone forward to try and get in as they're already approaching the right hand bend with state occasion. Carnarvon Casavina was checked there. It had a knock on effect to the likes of Heavenly Breath and also towards the outside, Sparkling Beauty seemed to get caught in the backwash. So out in the lead, it is Zenga who's got to the lead and is now trying to sit up round the turn. Amena sits in second place with on the outside, Rousse, last year's winner, the Grey, disputing third with Queen of the Skies. Then in fifth place is State Occasion in the halves, ahead of the striped colours of green and white that belongs to Liftoff, as they're now on the straight and making their way uh, towards the final six furlongs. Running line comes next, just ahead of Carnarvon and Heavenly Breath. Towards the inside is Casavina, alongside Sparkling Beauty, and still towards the back of the pack, Embrace and Making Me Do It. So making their way downhill now. And out in the lead, it's Zenga who has the advantage. Amena in the yellow colours in second. Rousse attends her on the outside in third. Queen of the Skies comes next, ahead of lift off then state occasion no move yet from running lion sitting in midfield two-tone green colors just ahead of Carnarvon as they're now making their way down inside the final three and a half it's Zenga who leads Amena Rousse last year's winner traveling up well then state occasion running lion is making progress through the field in the green colors with queen of the skies but it's Rousse who has the advantage two furlongs to go Amena still front ranked state occasion coming there strongly in company with running lion Rousse has the advantage state occasions got there traveling strong on the left-hand side is Running Lion. They've moved on from Making Me Do It, who's come right from the back of the pack. State Occasion is now asked to go on, and she does so with a degree of purpose. Two lengths back to Running Lion, then Rousse and Making Me Do It, but it's State Occasion who's coming away to win the Upaven Phillies in decisive fashion. State Occasion for Ross Ryan. Running Lion in second, Making Me Do It. Head of in fourth place, Rousse. Sparkling Beauty came home in fifth. State occasion has taken the Uphaven. Uh, Rafe Beckett, trainer, next to me. Uh, well done. Uh, it looks like you've had to be pretty patient with her, but it's paid off. Yeah. Yeah, because, you know, she kept winning valuable Phillies handicaps last year, and then we uh, we went to Dundalk, and she got drawn wide and missed the break. You run quickly into the bend there over 10, and that didn't, so that didn't work, and then I ran a, probably one run too many at the back end. She ran well in the Middleton, and then she was off colour for a while, a little while after that, and then it's just rained, and she wants fast ground. So it's as simple as that. She hasn't had any major issues. It's just in wet. Which is, I guess, for a filly like her, that's frustrating because you'd think height of summer is when you can get her out. Absolutely. I mean, I suppose we probably only missed one race, which was the Lyric at, at York. That was probably. Uh, I know. I'm not sure we missed anything else, but you know. Anyway, it doesn't matter now. No, she's, <laughs> she's won this. Anything in mind for her next? She could go anywhere, Tom, really. She could go anywhere. I haven't really thought about it. It's long, it's long and hard yet, but there's, luckily there's plenty for her. Um, she'll be in everything, and, we'll, and we'll, see, uh, we'll see how it pans out. In everything over 10? This is her trip, yeah. Uh, talking of your allow, allow ourselves briefly to look ahead to uh, Blue Stocking going to the auction road? Yeah, she, I, I still haven't really decided about her. She'll do a little bit on the grass on, um, on Saturday and then, we'll, and then we'll have a think about it. You know, she had a hard race at York and she's still not got many miles on the clock. You know, she's still, uh, you know, not the finished article in many ways. Um, on the race course she is. Everything else, we need to just make sure it all matches up. Um, so she's a possible, yeah, and we've got a team of handicappers. And uh, Kin Ross going to go? Kin Ross will go to the, to the, uh, to the all being well, to the city of York. Yeah. And uh, there's, you know, there's a few others as well, a couple of two-year-olds. And you never, you never know. They're running well. Thanks, Tom. Good. Subscribe to Racing TV's YouTube channel now to watch more great races like this.